Tori Spelling and her husband Dean McDermott currently reside in a stunning $3.7 million mansion in Hidden Hills with their five children. Despite moving around quite a bit due to some rumored financial issues, it seems the family is living lavish. Their current home boasts amenities like a private sauna, pool with waterfall, and much more. Let's not forget, Tori is accustomed to only the best when it comes to where she calls home. When she was younger, her family estate was the manor a 56,600 square foot mega mansion said to be the biggest in LA County. Today we'll check out some of Tori's homes past and present. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tori Spelling is an actress and author best known for her role as Donna Martin on Beverly Hills 90210 which began in 1990. In real life, Tori was also a Beverly Hills girl, or close enough. Growing up, her late father and TV producer Aaron Spelling had the family living in the biggest mansion in LA County located in Holmby Hills. At the time of this recording, Tori has had some financial woes, but sources peg her current net worth at around $1.5 million. She may not be living in LA's biggest mansion anymore, but her current home is still super luxurious. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this one featuring the mansions of Tori Spelling. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Just to get a taste of how Tori grew up, we need to first check out the Spelling Manor, also known as Candyland. The Spelling family's storied mansion came on the market most recently in 2019, with a sky-high price tag of $160 million. The 56,000 square foot estate was once home to the late TV producer Aaron Spelling, aka Tori's father, as well as her mother Candy. The 14 bedroom, 27 bathroom palace has been on and off the market for years, but who could afford such a place? The Spellings purchased the property back in the 1980s and tore down the existing house to build this mega mansion, also known as the Manor or the Spelling Manor, which was considered the largest home in LA when it was built. And I believe it still might be the largest personal residence in Los Angeles County. By the time construction on this monstrosity was complete, Tori was almost 19 years old when they moved in. The epic mansion, which sits on five acres of land, is full of over-the-top amenities, along with some very unique rooms. There's a bowling alley, a beauty salon, more than one gift wrapping room, a china room, a Prince Charles suite, and much more. Outside, there's enough parking for 100 cars, not to mention the entire exterior of the mansion is made of limestone. According to one rumor, the Spellings bought their own limestone quarry to make sure all the stone had a fluid look. Inside the grand entryway has a twin butterfly staircase, marble flooring, crystal floating chandelier, and much more. In fact, the massive 40-foot high foyer was inspired by the O'Hara plantation in the film Gone with the Wind, which was Tori's mom's favorite movie. The home was located near the Playboy Mansion in the neighborhood of Holmby Hills, and apparently the parties used to get pretty crazy. Believe it or not, Tori's childhood mansion was bigger than the White House. While the manor has less rooms, 123 rooms, which is 10 fewer than the White House, it has an extra 1,500 square feet of space. The master suite alone is sprawling with two large entryways while the ensuite bath is equally jaw-dropping. The bathroom features a triple vanity with wall-length mirrors, shiny flooring, as well as a large freestanding tub and even a daybed. The walk-in master closet is more like a boutique and has stairs to another level. Once upon a time, there was a room in the mansion that was home to 1,000 of Tori's dolls, which has been now transformed into a hair salon and spa. This space even has a flat screen TV, magazine rack, and plenty of chairs to get your hair done. There are three gift wrapping rooms and a flower cutting room in the home too. If you're feeling sporty, the manor also boasts its very own two lane bowling alley with shoe closet, with sizes for all of your guests. Tori's mother Candy finally let the mansion go in 2011 despite the fact that she loved the home. The massive size was definitely a lot of work and she probably wanted a change of scene after Tori's dad passed away. Tori spoke about growing up in the manor as well. 
Like now, I would be like, wow, that's a huge house. When I was young, I didn't know the difference. Still huge, but very warm and cozy. The manor was beautifully decorated. My mom has impeccable taste, but the rooms were large and it felt cold all the time. Just because physically, honestly, they were too big. In 2017, one of Tori and Dean's former abodes came back on the market for over $4 million, and this one might look familiar. The 6,700 square foot property was often in the public eye as it was featured on the couple's reality series, Tori and Dean Home Sweet Hollywood, which aired from 2007 to 2011. In 2011, Tori sold the mansion to now retired soccer player Jermaine Jones for $2.5 million, and while he was living here, he made some changes to the indoor and outdoor spaces of the home. It's said that Jermaine added bold hues, wallpaper, and murals inside the residence, as well as a dramatic chandelier in the foyer and outside, a complete cabana with bar, kitchen, and bath. The impressive Mediterranean-style estate is located in Encino, California and sports six bedrooms and 7.5 bathrooms throughout. The entryway has double height ceilings, a curved staircase and marble floors, while this space leads you to the other main floor living areas. The large kitchen has a center island with more than enough room for a few chefs to cook up a storm, and here there's also a casual dining table, loads of cabinet space and more. That island even boasts a built-in dog bed. The great room here has a fireplace in one wall, more than one sitting area, and French doors to which easily open to a covered exterior lounge. I'm sure this sprawling Encino crib had plenty of room for Tori, Dean, and their large family. Their former home offered both an in-law suite with its own staircase to access it, as well as a downstairs suite for guests. There seems to be a trend of indoor swings in this mansion too, as you can find them in the formal living room, master bath, and even in one of the bedrooms. The swings, they might not be practical, but I think they're a stylish touch. Throughout the house, there were hardwood floors in most spaces, an office, and even a piano and music room for some extra glamour. The rooms all came with their own ensuite, while Tori's former master bath she shared with Dean boasted a fireplace, flat screen TV, dual vanities, spa tub, balcony, and the walk-in closet. Outside the grounds of the Encino house were surrounded by a walled and gated compound for maximum privacy, likely a necessity for a home that was on TV. Other features out in the yard included an in-ground swimming pool and spa with plenty of terrace space to sunbathe. Tori, Dean, and their five children have actually moved around quite a bit over the last few years to different homes in and around Los Angeles, some of which have been upscale rentals. Despite rumors the couple has been dealing with some issues with debt, it seems Tori and her family comfortably call a $3.7 million mansion in Hidden Hills home. But it's unsure if they purchased the place or are leasing. Either way, Hidden Hills is one of the most lavish neighborhoods around, and now Tori lives next door to some of the wealthiest celebrities, from Will Smith to the Kardashians and many more. The beautiful home was taken off the market in April 2020, and it's said that Tori and the family are still currently living here. Inside the 5,980 square foot abode, both features like a spiral staircase, stained glass windows, and more. There are five bedrooms and eight bathrooms throughout, and two of these are spacious and private master suites on the lower level of the home. The amount of bedrooms sounds like it's perfect for Tori's children, Liam, Stella, Hattie, Finn, and Bo. In addition to all those sleeping quarters, Tori's Hidden Hills house is stacked with impressive common rooms, like a formal dining area, multiple living rooms, a playroom, and more. The home features a brown brick exterior and double wood front doors, which we've caught glimpses of thanks to Tori's photos. In the entryway, there's a gorgeous spiral staircase, double height ceilings, as well as stained glass windows and wood beams. In one of the main living rooms, Tori decorated with a bohemian inspired vibe, and the space boasts a beige couch, custom pillows, a cozy fireplace, and artwork on the walls. The living room leads to the gourmet kitchen that's complete with large center island, stainless steel appliances, loads of cabinet space, and of course, room for the large family to easily gather. Around the corner from their kitchen is the pantry, which no doubt comes in useful for storing all those groceries. Tori's dining room boasts stone floors and stunning bay windows, a room that's sure to impress guests. 
There are multiple other amenities in the mansion as well, including a wet bar and even a private sauna. Not only does Tori's spacious master suite have its own luxury ensuite and dressing room, but it seems each of the bedrooms have walk-in closets and attached baths too. Since moving in here, Tori has been showing some home improvements on social media, once praising her friend Catherine Sorensen for being an incredible interior designer. The actress captioned some Instagram photos of her revamped living room on Insta, saying, Living room transformation, I adore you, Catherine's design. Catherine's interior designs define comfort and elegance, tailored to clients' tastes, needs, and lifestyles. Curated custom one-of-a-kind vintage pillows and rugs. And just like that, I had a beautiful, elevated, cozy living room for our family. Finally, the grounds of Tori's current property are loved by the entire family, considering the resort-like backyard, which boasts a custom pool and spa with rock waterfall. Not to mention, there's a massive patio furnished with lounge chairs and tables to kick back outside. All right, that about wraps it up for our Tori Spelling house tour. She and Dean have moved around about eight times in the last few years, which is pretty wild. So we certainly wouldn't have time to cover all of those properties. We did get to see her current Hidden Hills home, as well as the Encino house that was featured on the couple's reality show. And we can't forget Tori's childhood palace, also known as the Spelling Manor, where she spent some of her years growing up. That house was beautiful, but it's just massive for any normal human being to live in, but maybe that's just me. I did love the master bedroom suite though. Tori's new home in Hidden Hills is also stunning. My favorite parts were the resort like backyard and the entryway. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Tori's cribs down in the comments. I would love to get to know more of you guys as well, so check out my TikTok and see what I've been up to over there. I'll follow you back. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!